Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I got another quickish fix um, video. Um, this time I'm gonna be dealing with the microflame torch. Now I've got a Model B and I know, I think the general consensus is that it's not the Model B, it's the one that just doesn't say Model B, it just doesn't have anything there. Anyway, um, the Model B is pretty much identical other than it says Model B on it. Um, so I went ahead and ordered this one and it was a lot cheaper than trying to find the exact correct one. Um, and, but it's filthy. It's gross. <laughs> like it's got dirt all over it. Um, rust in some places, these little thumb wheels down here at the bottom, they don't want to turn. Um, but it works. It's fine. Um, I am going to clean it up a little bit. Um, I do have the correct, um, bottles in this. Um, thanks to Chris, AKA T Cruz. He, he, was very generous and got me the correct ones and uh, super cool of them. So thank you, Chris. I owe you one. <laughs> um, but anyways, what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna I'm gonna get some of the rust off of this. Like these little seats down here at the bottom, they're all rusty. There's a bunch of crud in the in the grooves of the cap, the knurls of the caps. Um, overall, it's just kind of filthy. I just need to clean it um, and then wipe, you know, rub some of the rust off with some steel wool. Hit it with a little bit of oil in a few places to make things move freely again. There's some springs under the caps that are they're pretty rusty and gross. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean this 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 thing up and um, then it's ready for display. I'm totally cool with all the dents and dings and the scratches and scrapes because that's very Star Wars. It's just I don't want to be that filthy sitting on on the display. You know, we're going to clean it up. We're going to polish it up just a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a little isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to put it in my airbrush and kind of hose down some of those filthy areas, get some of that crud off of it. That seemed to work reasonably well. I got a lot of the stuff in certain recesses that I couldn't really get at with my fingers um, or a paper towel that well. That little stick was very handy for some of the stuff that was like really stuck on there. I just had to give it a little physical brushing and then the airbrush could just push all that crud right off. Um, 
I think next up now I'm gonna get rid of the rust on these little bottle seats. Um, that really kind of bugs me. Um, that's really the last part that's rusty. Like um, when I hose down the um, springs with the airbrush, a lot of the stuff was just dirt and it came right off. So they're a lot cleaner. It's gonna be super hard to pick that up with any kind of light, but um, without me taking it up completely apart, which I might do, maybe. But anyways, I'm gonna take these bottles out real quick. Um, I'm probably gonna remove the, the bottle seats completely and give them a quick rub down with some steel bowl and then uh, give them a shot of oil to protect them. And then to remove them, we gotta take them all the way the other way. I'm going to use a little 3-in-1 oil just to give it a little protection. Just going to put a little bit on there. Oop. Definitely slick now. This will help lubricate it and protect it from rust, so we don't need to spray it because these are not big parts. We're ready for some reassembly now. Oh my gosh, that's so much smoother. <laughs> that's so much better. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. Uh, fail, fail well. Look at that, it just spins. It's spinning. They spinning. Oh. Slipping right through. Woo! <laughs> Moving nice now. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna try and clean this little shaft here a little bit. Let me give it a quick rub. Is 
this oily towel. And okay. Boom. There it is. Check it out. I, got, I just got to get myself a restraining bolt and a droid. <laughs> I can get to work. Um, restraining those droids. They're crazy. Super happy with the way this has turned out. Um, really like... Uh, it still has that rough, kind of beat-up look that Star Wars stuff has. and But uh, it's not quite as filthy as it was before because it was pretty gross. I don't know that the camera really picked up how dirty it was. It looked like it had been sitting in the mud somewhere. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Um... Anyways, I gotta give Chris another shout out. Huge thank you to sending me these correct uh, bottles for it. Um, that's a uh, a big favor to me. Uh, so thank you. I owe you one. Um, and uh, this is gonna be going on my my shelf with all my other props um, here in just a minute. Actually, uh, check out the blog. I'm gonna have a short little post on this. Uh, PropChopShop.com. I'm sure I'll call it you know, micro flame torch or something like that. I haven't written or started it at this point yet. So, um, check it out. Um, until next time.